now we are going to discuss the next topic under the network interacting devices and that is gateway now to understand the gateway first of all we are taking one example to make you understand now let us suppose that we are having a switch now let us suppose three ports are there i am taking very short example there are three computers which are connected let us suppose that c1 c2 and c3 and there we are saying it is a switch now there is one more switch we are having again assuming three ports although there is no as such switch available with the three port but we are taking as an example so c4 c5 and c6 and this is also one more switch we know that they are going to create a lan so this is we can say it is the lan 1 local area network 1 and this is the lan 2 now let us suppose that this one is our one office means there is a lan and this is one office we are assuming that this is the office of let us suppose geo company i am assuming that there are multiple routers and multiple switches available inside that but I must not say the router, multiple switches are available because we are talking about the LAN right now, LAN and MAN. So this is one more building and that is let us suppose the office of some other company. Let us suppose that Nokia. Again inside that I have taken one small switch but there can be multiple switches and multiple uh, MAN devices, right? You can assume that. Now what we want that we want the communication between these two companies. So now to connect these two companies or we can say that two LANs we need some device. We can also use the bridge if we want but let us suppose that I am taking one more device. Let us suppose this one we are assuming is the device and that device we are giving them the name as gateway. Now from there what is the purpose of this gateway? We must know one thing that whenever some kind of security is required, then the gateway we have to use. So first of all, we can see that this gateway is going to connect to LAN, right? So that means we can say that gateway is the LAN interconnecting device, LAN or the MAN, because LAN and MAN are the same devices. So gateway is used to connect multiple LANs, so it is the LAN or MAN device. Now second thing about the gateway is that it is providing the security. And that is the major thing. By the name we can easily see gateway. Gateway means there is a way and on that way there is some kind of gate is present. Although I have taken one gateway, the every company is having their own gateways. Now let us suppose that if I connect these two building, let us suppose this one and this one directly with the help of one wire, then there is a no restriction means anybody can send the data from LAN 2 to LAN 1 and from LAN 1 to LAN 2 we can send the data means there is no security. So here there is no security and if there is no security everybody can see the projects of everybody else what they are doing and that is not a concern so that's why we are having the device that is gateway and now gateway is very much intelligent that which data we want to send with the help of that we can send that particular data so gateway is applied gateway is just same as the bridge in terms of connecting the different different lands but yes it is providing the security let us suppose now switch one is going to send the data or if I take one example, let us suppose that the computer one of company one want to send the data to company two and let us suppose there is some random computer I am assuming C6. Now from here it is start sending the data and we know that it is first checking inside and then forwarding it. Now the gateway, the gateway is coded 
in such a manner it will check the incoming and the outgoing so what is incoming it will check first that what is coming it is coming from let us suppose geo company so gateway is coded that only geo packets can come if let us suppose other company we have just banned that company packets will not come inside so we have seen that the packets are coming from geo correct it will send then further it will also work for the outgoing because it is coming inside the nokia company let us suppose so if there is some other company it will not send but yeah it is going to send to the correct company so it is sending similar way gateway can work from lan 2 to lan 1 also if both security permissions are given then afterward it will send the packet to the switch and switch will further send it to the computer which is specified for the sending so one important thing is gateway is the lan or man connecting device and it provide the security we can assume that it is like a firewall but firewall is, is some kind of the software that is for the malware unethical access but it is for the connection purpose connection with security so that is the purpose of gateway and with the using the gateway we can give the proper security so i have removed that particular direct connection because that never happened the direct connection never happened it was only the example which i have quoted to make you understand so to connect two lands we can use the gateway or the bridges and the difference between gateway and bridges that bridges only storing and forwarding the data but the gateway will send it with the security permissions